Megan Sarah and I am an Agnes and Dora rep. I also own my own Etsy business and I run a blog over at www.megansarah.com. And today I want to talk to you about using social media for your business. I am going to primarily talk about how I use it for my Agnes and Dora business, but it's pretty applicable across um, any sort of business. So I want to start out with Facebook. Um, Facebook is a really great way to meet your community, meet your customer base. Um, I would highly recommend that you use it in some way. Um, and that way may look different for you than it may for anyone else. Um, I definitely use some of these options I'm going to cover more than other people, less than other people. I kind of have wavered over the time that I've had my business. Um, so you're definitely going to want to find what works for you and stick to that. I have a two different things that I keep up with for my um, Agnes and Dora business on Facebook. I have my Facebook page which is where um, I can kind of send people to all different sorts of other social media channels that I have um, and I highly recommend having a page just for that. It's a really great funnel. Um, also specifically for Agnes and Dora it is amazing um, the way that it can integrate with your party site. So you can uh, use Facebook to create listings almost for your items and then they can click on those listings it'll take them straight to your party site and they can check out and purchase the item right there so I will do a separate video showing you all how to do that um, but it's super easy it just takes a little bit of time and it's a great 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 tool that Facebook gives us to use that's completely free I would highly recommend that you learn how to use it and uh, use it well so Facebook pages um, give you the opportunity to create a um, actionable button and you can set that to do a couple of different things. You can send it to a Facebook group, um, you could send it to joining your newsletter, you could send it to your party site. I have mine set up to just shop now so it goes straight to my party site. In the past I've had it set to um, link to my group but I kind of decided that I wanted my Facebook page and my Facebook group to kind of serve two different purposes and I want my Facebook page to be for people who d don't necessarily want to be in a group and um, I kind of want to reach a different kind of audience with that so I definitely just want them to be able to shop super easily from there. So that's what I do with my Facebook page um, and then my Facebook Oh, and also from your Facebook page, um, I always go live on my Facebook page and then share it into my group because um, when you, people are watching it and commenting on it on your page, it's going to get hits from other people kind of seeing it on their feeds and stuff. And then you can also share it into other groups like buy, sell trades and stuff like that. Um, so let's talk about our Facebook groups now. Your Facebook group is a really great place to build community. That is what I use it for and that's what I would recommend be your number one purpose in your group. Not necessarily um, sales, sales, sales. I think you should definitely have a um, community purpose uh, there because otherwise it's just another kind of um, like model of your website basically your your party site or wherever you um, if you're not with Agnes and Dora wherever you send people to purchase items from you so um, you, that's this is where you people get to know who you are they get to know why you are in this business they get to know what you're doing um, they get to know who your ideal customer is things like that um, so this is where you want to share a little bit more about who you are and um, why you're there. And you kind of want to give them some purposeful content that um, gives them a reason to stay and gives them a reason to be engaging with you and gives them a reason to keep coming back and why they would shop with you instead of going to like a buy sell trade page and being like I'm looking for this and then getting a thousand hits and just picking one and checking out. Um, so this is where you definitely want to build yourself as the center of a community and you want to try and foster that community to engage with each other um, because 
that will make the community even more precious and like significant to people and they'll want to belong to it. Um, Facebook groups take a lot of time. I spend more time on my Facebook group than I do on anything else in my business. Um, they are, they are a commitment. You don't have to have a Facebook group. Um, there are many, many people who are successful in business without having a Facebook group. Um, so don't feel like if you don't have the time to do it, that you're going to fail. That is not true. There are many people, even in Agnes and Dora, who don't have Facebook groups or who had groups and moved away from it. I try and post in my group four times a day and it can be really difficult to come up with four pieces of content for every day. Um, I try to have like one of those pieces be like an outfit or an image of like a piece of clothing or whatever. Um, and then hopefully one piece is like directing them to like do some sort of action and then um, the other two pieces might be um, sending them uh, like building community and uh, having them um, like share things about themselves or me sharing things about myself you know like that kind of community building stuff that I was talking about um, so like one well, my big thing is my bullet journal and planning and stuff like that so I'll share a lot about that in there and um, kind of use it to ask questions and things like that um, next up would be a Instagram account I post on my Instagram account like once a day now there's been times when I tried to post on it like three times a day I tried to post like morning afternoon and evening and it was just too much for me to keep up with and I wasn't really seeing a huge return from it so I just don't even bother um, with trying to be that crazy about it anymore I try to post once a day if I can post once a day I consider that a success <laughs> um, there are people who are extremely successful with Instagram it takes a lot of time you have to learn how to use it well you have to learn how to use hashtags well you have to um, basically build your following by engaging with other people and again I just don't have time to do that so it's just not a good um, media tool it's not a good social media tool for me other than just like upkeeping it by posting once a day um, so it can be fantastic there are some Agnes and Dora reps who do an incredible amount of their business through Instagram so maybe if you don't want to have a Facebook group that might be something that you could spend that time that you would spend on a Facebook group um, building and cultivating your Instagram or if you don't have a job like I have a full-time job um, then maybe you have more time to kind of look into that and use it as a um, more intense tool because it can definitely be used as a more intense tool than the way that I use it um, let's see Periscope is another one if you're looking at selling live definitely sell live on your Facebook page um, and share it into your group you then do like some exclusive lives in your Facebook group page um, if you have a VIP page which is like for your top customers um, which I kind of run the same way as my Facebook group then you um, can go live in there and do like special sales for them but then Periscope is another tool um, that you can be really successful on for selling live so I would definitely look that up you just create an account and you can integrate it with Twitter so it'll just like automatically post on the Twitter you don't have to upkeep the Twitter if you're not interested in being on Twitter like I am not interested in being on Twitter um, so it just kind of like pops over on Twitter every time that you post a video so people might see it and like hop on your video from there. Um, but Periscope has been extremely, extremely successful for um, women building their live sale audience for sure. Um, people are on Periscope to buy things. Uh, they When they're watching you live on Periscope, it's because they're interested in shopping and they want to shop with you. So it's a really good way to, um, any, any sort of going live is a fantastic way to build community, but Periscope in particular, you can build a whole different audience that's different from your Facebook, um, audience and doesn't rely on the Facebook, um, platform, which I think it's really important to integrate these different social medias so that if something would happen to Facebook or to your group or to your Facebook profile or whatever, and it's all gone, that you have these other ways to contact your customers. Um, all right, let's see. Next would be Pinterest. Um, Pinterest is, it's super easy. 
and people are on there and they're addicted to it. So what I try to do, and I'm not as good as it as I should be, I try to get on um, and pin five pins a day. So if I've written a blog post, I'll pin that. Um, and then sometimes I'll pin my Instagram pictures. And then most of the time I just pin items from my um, party site and then I redirect them. And you can redirect them in a few different ways. Um, you want to make sure that you're redirecting that link. You don't want it to go to whatever that item was on your party site because then it'll like just give them an error if you sell it or whatever and say it's like, and you don't want that. So um, what I do is I send it to my, I send it a couple different ways. Some of my pins link back to my link tree, which kind of gives them a bunch of different options of where they can go. And then sometimes I pin them straight to my group so that um, they have the opportunity to join my group then. And sometimes I pin them straight to my party site, but it's like my main party site page. Um, and the reason I kind of like differentiate where my pins go is because some people want to join your group, some people want to go to your business page, and some people want to have options. So I'm kind of hoping that um, I'm reaching a few different kinds of audiences by doing that. So my goal is to pin five times a day. I don't meet that very often, but that's still my goal. Um, that's one of the things I'm working on is trying to be more consistent on Pinterest. Um, another thing would be YouTube, what I'm doing right now. YouTube is a really great market. Um, a lot of people are not using it for um, direct sales. They're not using it for Agnes and Dora. So if you're comfortable recording yourself, get on there, get on YouTube, record style videos, um, talk about the business, anything like that and um, just build a following here on YouTube. There is YouTube live videos now, which I I um, have access to through my, my um, YouTube account now, but I've never used them, so I don't know anything about them. Um, but if you're interested in that, I'm sure you can find people who have talked about how they use YouTube live for sure. Um, and then two more, email. I highly recommend having an email list. Um, even if you're not planning on using it a bunch, get an, e an email list. There, I use MailChimp and they integrate with PayPal. So if you're planning on using PayPal, I would recommend using MailChimp. It's super easy to use. It's very user friendly. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to help you with it. Um, you just go into MailChimp, go into settings and then integration and then scroll down to PayPal and you can set it up so that every time someone pays an invoice, the first time they shop with you and pay an invoice, they will get an email from MailChimp if they're not on your newsletter, they're not on your mail list, asking if they want to be on your mailing list. And that is how I get most of my people signed up to my newsletter. So I would definitely recommend that because again, if something happens to Facebook, you want a way to get a hold of those people. I send a newsletter every week. Um, you could do it monthly you could only do it when you have like something super significant going on um you can never use it and but you'd be collecting those emails so that if one day you decide that you want to start a newsletter you're ready to go and you have a, a base built up but i think that's just a super easy way that you can integrate um a new way to contact your customer base and these are people who've already bought from you so you know they're interested in your product and then the final way is blogging and this takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of energy, and it's not something that you should join in lightly. <laughs> so um, I would um, definitely learn a lot more about blogging before you just jump into it. Um, I am a member of the Socialite Suite, and I'm a member of Sassy Pants, and Brenda Sturr is amazing she's absolutely fantastic and she does do some blogging courses so if you're interested in um, blogging I would highly recommend checking her out it is currently January right now and her blogging boot camp is open for registration so if you're interested in that definitely head over to the socialite suite with Brenda Stir and look into that blog blogging boot camp um, for sure it is definitely going to be helpful if you're looking into blogging. I blog um, at www.megansarah.com, um, but I blog about teaching and education and bullet journaling 
and my Etsy shop. I don't blog about my Agnes and Dora. I am considering starting a Sassy Direct, which is again through Brandister at the Socialite Suite, a Sassy Direct micro blog, um, which they kind of do a lot of the work for you then. Um, and you're doing most of the just like actual blogging part and they're kind of helping to take care of some of that back behind the scenes thing. Um, some micro blogging about my Agnes and Dora because you cannot blog about um, Agnes and Dora on a platform that you are also blogging it blogging about like other business opportunities and I um, have my own Etsy shop because it's like my my own business where I sell my own things that I created <laughs> um, and I I like to blog about those and it goes with my teaching and my planning um, and my bullet journaling topics really really well so I just don't blog about my Agnes and Dora business on there I just blog about Etsy on there um, so those are the social media places that I use um, and like I said I use some of them very frequently and others I don't use at all like Periscope I don't use Periscope at all I used it in the beginning and I decided that it wasn't really for me um, and so that's what I would recommend that you do is just kind of play around with some of them and decide if it's for you or not and then um, go from there there's also a lot of benefit in kind of building up a couple platforms at once so if you're just getting started you may want to like focus on Facebook and then um, maybe like once you get a little bit of once you're like in the groove with that add something on so whatever you think then your the next thing is that you really want to get started like whether it's a news well in your newsletter I would recommend starting right away because you can just integrate that with PayPal um, but then you could maybe start actually writing your newsletter or um, if you wanted to do Instagram um, or if you wanted to start Paris or Pinterest from there or whatever so um, definitely like get one platform get it down get it really like set in like set in your ways um, like make it a habit and then kind of add in another platform um, so I feel like I kind of rambled on it guys forever uh, but I hope that this was helpful I hope that maybe you um, are thinking about a platform or two that you weren't weren't really thinking about before or um, that maybe you have kind of like accepted that you don't have to be like what is this one two three four five six seven eight we talked about nine different options so um, maybe you don't have to jump into all nine at once <laughs> that you can kind of build them one at a time is um, definitely ac acceptable it's it's much better to be solid rock solid in a couple of platforms than it is to be like everywhere and not really doing anything consistent and kind of like being a hot mess. Uh, so um, thank you for watching. I hope that this was helpful. And if you did find it helpful, hit subscribe below and um, give this video a like. Feel free to ask any questions or leave comments down below. And I hope that you all have a really great day. Bye.